Hello everyone, let's talk about some diagnostic test parameters with an exercise using a 2x2 two two table. Diagnostic test parameters are used to evaluate a test that detect individuals for a condition or a disease. A diagnostic test result may either be a positive or a negative test outcome. A positive test result would indicate that an individual is classified with a condition or a disease. A negative test result would classify the individual to not have the condition or a disease. The problem is that test results may or may not identify the individual's actual status. Therefore, diagnostic test parameters are used to evaluate if these diagnostic tests would give a reliable result. Let's use this example to understand the different diagnostic parameters. A total of 1,350 individuals were tested using a newly developed testing kit. Out of the 950 individuals with the disease, 395 were tested correctly positive, 90 tested correctly as negative out of the 400 individuals with no disease. Using all the information given in this example, we should be able to complete the values and labels needed in the 2x2 two two table, and we should be able to compute for the different diagnostic tests, sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and NPV. Aside from the four diagnostic tests asked for in the problem, we will also discuss the following prevalence, accuracy, false negative rate, and false positive rate. This is an example of a 2x2 two two table. The columns are used to identify individuals according to their condition. Positive individuals with condition or sick people. Negative individuals without condition or the healthy people. The rows are used for the test outcome of a diagnostic test positive test result, and a negative test result. The last column is optional, but would show the total number for each row. Sick individuals that test positive are labeled as true positives. Sick individuals that test negative are labeled as false negatives. Healthy individuals that test positive are labeled as false positives. And healthy individuals that tested negative are true negatives. Going back to the example given, the first statement gives the total number of individuals tested, which is 1,350 individuals. The next value given is the total number of sick individuals, which is 950. And out of these 950 sick individuals, 395 tested positive. The last statement gives 90 individuals that tested correctly as negative, from a total number of healthy individuals at 400. To complete the data on the first column, we subtract 395 from 950 to get 555. The second column is computed the same. Subtract 90 from 400 to get 310. To get the total number of test positives, we add 395 and 310 to get 705. And to get the total number of negative tests, we add 555 and 90 to get 645. That completes all the data needed for the 2x2 two two table. We now have all the values and labels needed in the 2x2 two two table. Next is to compute for the different diagnostic test parameters. The first four parameters to be discussed would be sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value or PPV, and negative predictive value. To make formulas easier to remember, true positives are labeled as A, false positives are labeled as B, false negatives are labeled as C, and true negatives are labeled as D. Sensitivity, which is also known as true positive rate, or recall, or power, refers to the proportion of individuals with the condition who are correctly identified by the test and provided a positive result. Given this definition, we will now be using the data from this column to compute for sensitivity. Sensitivity formula is true positive divided by true positive plus false negative, or A divided by A plus C. To substitute the values, we will have 395 divided by the sum of 395 and 555, or 950. That will give us 0 0.42. We multiply this by 100 to get the percentage. We now have a 42% sensitivity rate. Interpretation for this would be that this test kit would only give a 42% sensitivity to identify individuals with condition who will be correctly identified by the test 
to have a positive result. The second diagnostic parameter is specificity, also known as selectivity or true negative rate. Specificity is defined as the proportion of individuals without the condition who are correctly identified by the test to provide a negative test result. Given this definition, we will now be using the data from this column to compute for specificity. The formula for specificity is true negative divided by the true negative plus the false positives or D divided by B plus D. To substitute the data with the numbers, we will have 90 divided by 90 plus 310 to give 90 over 400. That will now give us 0 0.23. Multiply by 100 to get the percentage, which is 23% specificity. Interpretation would be that the specificity of this test would only give a very low 23% specificity to identify individuals without the condition to give them a negative result. The third parameter is a positive predictive value, or PPV, or otherwise known as precision. This is defined as a proportion of individuals with a positive test result who have the condition. We are now referring to the true positives. Given this, we will now use the data from this row to compute for PPV. Formula to be used is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive, or A divided by A plus B. The values will then be 395 divided by 395 plus 310. We multiply this by 100 and we will get 56%. The positive predictive value of this test is now 56%. Interpretation means that this test can give a 56% chance of giving a positive test result to a person who really has the disease. The fourth diagnostic parameter is the negative predictive value defined as a proportion of individuals with a negative test result who do not have the condition. We are now referring to the true negatives. Given this definition, we will be using the information from this row to compute for the NPV. Formula is true negative divided by true negative plus false negative or D divided by D plus C. The values will then be 90 divided by 90 plus 555. Multiply to 100 to get the percent. The NPV now of this test is 14%. Interpretation is that this test can only give a 14% rate of giving a negative test result to a person who do not have the disease. That completes the computation for the diagnostic sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and NPV. Other parameters that may be taken from the 2 by 2 table would be the prevalence, accuracy, false negative rate, and the false positive rate. Prevalence is defined by the proportion of a population found to be affected by the medical condition. Formula for prevalence is positive individuals with disease divided by the total number of the population. That will give us 950 divided by 1350. The answer for the prevalence is now 70%. That means that 70% of the total population are with disease or with a condition. The next parameter is accuracy. Accuracy is the closeness of a measurement to a specific value. So we now need values that have given a correct result. And these are true positives and true negatives. And we are to compare them from the total population. The formula for accuracy is true positive plus true negative divided by the total population. That would give us 395 plus 90 divided by 1350. The accuracy for this test is now 36%. This means that this test can only give a 36% rate of giving a correct result. The false negative rate is also known as the miss rate. This is an error in which a test result is improperly indicating the absence of a condition when there is really the presence of the disease. Formula for the false negative rate is false negative divided by true positive plus false negative or C divided by A plus C. The values would be 555 divided by 950. We multiply this by 100 to get the percentage. This now gives us 58%. 
This means that this test can give a 58% chance of giving a false negative result. The last parameter is the false positive rate or the fallout rate, or also known as the false alarm rate. This is an error in which a test result improperly indicates the presence of the condition when it is really not present. Formula for the false positive rate is false positive divided by the true negative plus the false positive, or B divided by B plus D. Values would then be 310 divided by 400 multiplied to 100 to get the percentage. The false positive rate for this test is now 76%. This means that this test can give a 76% chance of giving a false positive result. That now ends our discussion about the different diagnostic test parameters using a 2x2 two two table or the truth table. We have discussed sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, negative predictive value, prevalence, accuracy, false negative rate, and false positive rate. For a diagnostic test to be reliable, both sensitivity and specificity should be very high. The higher or the closer it is to 100%, the better. A high sensitivity rate would give a very low false negative rate, and a high specificity would give a very low false positive rate. Thank you for listening. If this video has helped you in any way, please give it a like and subscribe to be notified for the next videos.